I first started drawing Afro Samurai when I was a student, which was 13 or 14 years ago. I just started off doing some doodling of an African American man. I was just playing around with it, putting on some headbands and next a kimono, to eventually develop this character, Afro Samurai, in the end. And the character of Ninja Ninja was developed at the same time. The inspiration behind Afro Samurai came from different elements that I really liked from when I was young. One of things was, of course, hip hop and soul music. And I used to watch reruns of Soul Train from the 70s. And that was a really great experience for me as well. Because that's what I got to see Afro hair as something that's really cool. The whole world of Afro Samurai is very character oriented. We have very unique characters, as you can see in the character of Afro Samurai himself and Justice or Ninja Ninja. So I wanted to make sure that the story is kept simple so that the characters are highlighted. So I chose the theme of revenge. The very first manga came out in a self-published magazine, and after that, my friend wanted to make some action figures based on the character. So he picked up Afro Samurai and made some action figures. They came out only in limited numbers. So after this action figure was created, the producer for the animation studio, Gonzo, happened to find it. He saw it and came up with idea of making the animated series for Afro Samurai. It took about three years in development. And during those three years, we made a trailer for pitching. And this trailer happened to fall into Samuel L. Jackson's hands. And now the video game is coming out and the franchise is still growing. So I'm very surprised, but at the same time, very flattered. Firstly, Afro Samurai is the number two warrior, and he's the protagonist of the manga. I decided to make sure that the ninja in the manga stays as I first imagined him to be. He's quite different from what you may have been familiar with. So that's something for the viewers to look forward to in the manga. As for Justice, or number one, he is the ultimate enemy of Afro, and I wanted to make sure he is as unique as Afro, so he will not be overwhelmed by Afro's uniqueness. I could not think of anything else but a Western gunman as the ultimate enemy of Afro. Thank you all for your support with regard to Afro Samurai. Now a game and comics are being released, so the whole world of Afro Samurai is only going to get bigger and bigger, so please look forward to it.